today we are going to talk healthy. And in this case, we're gonna try tamari. If you don't know what that is, that's basically a gluten-free soy sauce. And a lot of people don't realize that soy sauce actually has gluten in it. So if you're gluten sensitive or gluten intolerant or you know you just don't like to have gluten, like when you have a lot of breads or pastas and it makes you feel tired or sleepy, um, you're really gonna wanna stay away from gluten. Now this particular one also has 50% less sodium. That's good. And usually soy sauce is known for having a lot of sodium in it, right? So if you have high blood pressure or if you're really trying to limit your fluid retention, then you're gonna wanna also have um, a low sodium type of soy sauce. So this combines two health, healthy features low sodium and gluten free. Now, just to give you a little bit of background, I am a registered dietitian. This is one of the things that I would recommend to somebody who is trying to stay away from gluten and also for someone who's trying to limit their sodium intake. You can use this for stir fry or just in place of soy sauce. So we're gonna try this and try it over tofu. Seems appropriate. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bust out our tofu mm -hmm. and uh, try a little bit of this on there. It smells just like soy sauce. Mm -hmm. okay. there so we go. As you can see, there, there it is. Mm -hmm. And cheers. cheers. Light. It's very low sodium, I'll tell you that much. Generally, your taste buds will change to how much sodium you take in on a regular basis. So if you start regularly taking in less sodium, your taste buds will adjust to that. Yeah, it's not salty at all. But, you know, perhaps the tamari version that's reduced sodium, yeah. just, which is about a 25% <clears throat> less sodium, or just the regular tamari, which has no reduction in sodium, mm -hmm. um, that's probably gonna taste just like soy sauce, and you probably won't really notice any difference. The serving size is one tablespoon, uh -huh. and so this won't have 490 milligrams, but um, I did look at the regular tomati without any reduction in sodium, and that one had like 900 something milligrams of sodium for the same serving size. I, I think I like it. Do you like it? Um. I don't think I would do that low sodium version. I'd probably have to up it a little bit. Otherwise, I just wouldn't even bother putting any soy sauce on it at all, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I guess, you know, I'm much more used to eating more blander foods, and I don't mind that. But yeah, I think I'm quite the opposite. I like a burst of flavor in my mouth, and, <laughs> and um, I'm used to eating more rich, fattier foods. If you are looking for something gluten-free, this is what you should look for, tamati. All right, so we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.